I'm very passionate about communicating that there's nothing supernatural about awakening if it's completely the science. But that's not to say that it's just something happening in your brain and that's the end of it, that, that kind of perspective. Awakening is, is deeper than science, than the brain. The brain and everything else arises within awakening, <laughs> by which I mean that you wake up to to reality here and now, and it's felt to be radical openness, expressiveness, freedom, you could say unboundedness, unconditionality, love people often talk about has that kind of feeling tone of love, um, freedom. And these aren't different things. I'm going to one movement of, of completely unbound, infinite, expressive openness. Um, and it feels like that's all that exists. Um, and within that, because it's so profoundly open, it can kind of close in on itself and create closeness, um, which is what gives us this idea of the self and resistance and all that. But actually that's the, the open expressive yes of existence being so radically capable of expressing itself that it can express itself in seemingly paradoxical ways, like in the inverse through, through nose and resistance arising. Um, that's nose is in yes and no, not the nose. <laughs> um, so that's what the perspective can feel like of, of the awakened perspective, you could say. Um, and so matter, everything arises within that unconditional open expressiveness of, of existence. Um, and the awakening is to become, or to realize you've always been that, but for it to be really obvious that you are that um, expressiveness and that there is nothing else. So there is no separation. Um, yeah. So to talk about it that way, to say that, that awakening is beyond concepts, beyond any mental ideas that can box it in, um, because it is the, the open, radically unconfinable nature of being, being realized in through a body mind. Um, to talk about it that way is different to talking about it in terms of there's an organism here with an awareness and actually you can say, well, there's these, this kind of um, duality and you can even talk about the awareness being kind of spacious and, and not having boundaries and stuff like that. But when we, I mentioned earlier the idea of the kind of, the aim is to disrupt the mental paradigm of idea making, meaning making, um, that, that seems to box in reality into structure. Uh, it never actually does, but it gives us that the impression, the kind of bondage that feels like the human condition, feels like suffering, dissatisfaction, um, lack of fulfillment. Um, and awakening is the way to, to dismantle that and penetrate it. So an analogy that, that comes to mind is like, um, it's like a few situations you're in a kind of, a beautiful meadow on a summer's day and, and without a care in the world and you just kind of want to you know lift your head up to the sky and just just feel the kind of freedom of of that and next to you there's a, a toddler who's really overwhelmed and stressed out by the, maybe like agoraphobic or something uh, by this open space and so they've got their toys and they're really focused on a little game and they're, they're saying okay well this this man's going to the zoo and this is he's going to the shop and they're, they're playing out a little story with their toys um but they're completely focused on this little toy town and you're trying to communicate. They don't have to be uh, fixated in this way. They can just relax and then we can play in the meadow and it's, you know, the meadows has so many opportunities. There's trees to climb. It's completely open and unbound. And in terms of the possibilities, there's freedom to be found there. They don't have to be fixated on this, this game that they're in this kind of stressed mode. So that's like the human condition. And then the awakening is like kind of turning away from the toy paradigm, the toy town, and going, holy crap, like the toy town, I thought the toy town was reality. And there's this whole, whole open, I mean, I've always been in the meadow. I just didn't realize I was focused on, on this, this drama. Um, and you're one of the characters in the toy town, <laughs> you know? Um, but so sometimes what can happen is there can be an initial glimpse of that. Maybe you full on turn and see the meadow, or maybe it's just a, you see it in your periphery or someone tells you about it and you kind of catch the vibe because it's all around you. So you, we always pick, Every person touches into this in moments of, you know, whether it's tasting delicious food or sex or love, or there can be moments of kind of non-dual, non-conceptual clarity. Um, so we, when it really dawns, everyone recognizes it as, oh, it's this, like, I've always known this. This has always been here because it's, it's everything. Um, but so, so you get that glimpse and then 
with the whole language around non-dual awareness, there can often be a kind of like, it's like you then, the analogy here is to the, the meadow. So you, you create a little meadow space in Toy Town and then you're like, okay, well now I'm going to the meadow and oh, isn't it nice here? And sure, the meadow in, the, in Toy Town is quite big and you've, you've really got a few of the characteristics of it. But then you're, you're just back in Toy Town, you know? So if you, if you tell yourself, if you have ideas that awakening is just about stuff happening in your brain, um, or it's just about awareness and all this kind of stuff, you're, you're, you're boxing things back in again with ideas. So the idea that identity or that, that awareness is a subject, is a self, um, that's an idea. It's if you, if you just let go into this with the lights being on and don't think anything about it or let the thoughts just arise as appearances, you don't decide make the mind silent, uh, whether that can help to make this clear. In that moment, before the idea comes, there is no idea that there's self. And so to the idea making apparatus, this may not come through. But when it happens to you, you go, oh, now I see what you're talking about. It's 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 so unbelievably radically simple, like beyond simple. Just the the yellow of a, a lemon or the, the the smell of it when it's cut, it's like bam, that like that simplicity is everything. And that's the letting that be everything is really what we're talking about here. 